Hello everyone. My name is Rishma Ohar. I'm from ASSMS IIT as an assistant professor. So today's our lecture is on offset oriented programming. So here's an unit one that is nothing but fundamentals of object oriented programming. These are the content which we will discuss uh, this in this lecture. So first one is the introduction to object oriented programming, the need of object oriented programming and the last one is the fundamentals of object oriented programming. So what is an introduction to OP paradigm? So what is it? Then the first one we will see that what is OP paradigm. So object oriented programming that is OP is a programming paradigm based on the concept of objects. So relatively it is based on the concept of objects uh, which is an, nothing but instance of class and uh, which can contain a data in the form of a fields often known as an attributes or a properties and codes so in the form of a procedures often known as a methods or a functions then the introduction to procedure oriented programming so first one is the emphasis is on doing things that is an algorithms then second one is the large programs are divided into smaller programs known as a function then the most of the functions share global data and uh, next one is the data move openly around the system from functions to functions and next one is the functions transfer or transform data from one form to the another form and last one is employs a top-down approach in a program design uh, what is process oriented programming so here we can see that the relationship of data and functions in pop so how it will be formed here we can see that the global data sets are connected with the functions that is from function one function two and function one relatively it will be get connected with the each other so that the global data it will be connected to the functions ones with related to their local data uh, similar to the second one part also it will be connected with the functions then uh, what is the limitation for procedural oriented programming so the program code is uh, harder to write uh, then the second one limitation is that the procedural code is often not reusable which may cause the need to recreate the code if it is needed to use in another applications then the difficult to relate with the real world objects the importance is given to the operations rather than the data which might pose issues in some data sensitive cases the data is exposed to the whole program making it does not or it not so much secure friendly or security friendly so security is most important in the programming so what is object oriented programming benefits so first one is the op mimics the real world making it easier to understand the second one is the op codes are usable in other programs third one is the security is offered due to the use use of data hiding and abstraction mechanisms so last one uh, is a due to modularity and encapsulation op offers easy of management so next point is our op paradigm so we can see here that how it will be connected with the objects uh, to the communications with the another object so um, first uh, the organization of o objects in you know, op paradigms so first of all we, will, we can see that object a object b object c are connected or communications with each other through the functions and their perspective data set so object a have a uh, in object a there will be of data and their respective functions then in similar pattern though for the object b and object c and they are communicated with each other uh, this is nothing but the organizations uh, next point is the fundamentals of object oriented program programming so what will be the fundamentals of the pillars of object oriented programming so here's the first one is the namespaces second one is objects then classes data members methods messages 
in uh, data encapsulation data abstraction and information hiding inheritance and polymorphism so these are the main concepts or the main fundamentals related to the object oriented programming this we will see or discuss in our next lectures so thank you so much for listening